Hello, dear students. I am Dr. V. P. Mittal. I am Faculty of Chemistry, and I am discussing uh, MTP one of Chemistry given by V. P. M. Classes conducted on 16th of October 2016. Let's discuss question number one of MCQ type. According to this question, uh, which alkene will be formed in the reaction? So it is a cyclohexane derivative of bromine, and uh, sodium methoxide is given to us. Sodium methoxide is a strong base, and it will bring about bimolecular elimination reaction, that is E2 reaction. For E2 reaction, we know it is an anti-elimination reaction, and the two leaving groups should be in trans-diaxial positions. So uh, in Trans-diaxial position, we see that Br and D are present. Deuterium are present, so DBr will be eliminated, and the final alkene which we will get is given in option number option number two MCQ. That uh, how will we bring about the following conversion? In this case, a Friedel-Crafts acylation reaction has been conducted on benzene ring. So for this, first of all, we should reduce the C double bond O. By using a Clemenson uh, reduction method, and then we should bring about Friedel-Crafts acylation, and that will increase electron density on benzene ring, and benzene ring will be more activated. The given ring is rather an option uh, number three MCQ. In this case, we will identify the product P. In the initial steps, we are preparing a Wittig reagent by using triphenylphosphine. And uh, chloroethyl trimethyl silane, and uh, using a strong base butyl lithium. So a Wittig reagent is obtained, and that uh, Wittig reagent gives nucleophilic addition reaction with CHO group of the given compound. And now we are protecting the C double bond O group by using this aluminium chloride derivative, and now. an intramolecular reaction takes place where the cc double bond is added to cc double bond of cyclohexenone ring and finally on heating we are removing trimethyl silane group and also removing the aluminum derivative and we are getting the resultant question number 4 mcq in which uh, in step 1 we are conducting hoffman bromamide reaction in which the amide group is converted into nh2 group and the geometry of the system remains the same in the second step we are heating the react uh, the resulting product so an a nucleophilic substitution reaction of nh2 group with coh is taking place h2o is eliminated and a cyclic amide is formed so the resulting product is a bicyclic product and amide is there but the main thing is that the geometry remain the same that is the there is a retention of configuration at all the carbon atoms given to. question number 5 mcq it is a question of identification of unknown organic compound so in this type of reactions we first of all we find out the degree of unsaturation the degree of unsaturation of compound x is 1 it has two oxygen atoms so it can be an ester or an acid but because it is reacting with grignard reagent it cannot be an acid so it should be an ester this ester on reaction with lithium and aluminum hydride gives only one alcohol and we know with lithium aluminum hydride the ester breaks into two alcohols so it seems that it is a symmetrical type of ester so we can reject the option a and option d now we proceed further the alcohol y gives us an alkene c6h12 and this alkene has only a singlet in nmr spectrum that means its all 12 hydrogen atoms are of identical nature so this compound this alkene can be 2,3 dimethyl butene so according to that the given compound x should be the compound given in option